Most people thought that Jamie Wincup was just about home and hosed in the 2012 Drivers' Championship. However, there was one man who didn't share that view. His name was Mark Winterbottom, and he emerged from qualifying for race 27 at Winton to lead the field away in the main event, only to find that his advantage was ridiculously short-lived. And our pole sitter got bogged down a little bit, so that means that Jamie Wincup will go firing off to turn one with clear air in front of him. Van Gisbergen holds his line into third. Around turn two. Oh, Bright gets it wide on the dirt. He and Moffat made contact and Coulthard down the inside now. And it's going to be contact down here. The safety car was called out as Jason Bright and Michael Caruso came to grief in separate incidents within just seconds of each other. And with the middle of the pack giving each other precious little room to manoeuvre, there was always going to be added drama. That's Tim Blanchard, Jack Daniels' entry. There's Will, who got a bump, I think, from Lowndes. Tyre selection was critical in the first half of this 47-lap journey, with James Moffat benefiting from taking the soft option. After going out on the hard rubber, a KG wind cut was happy to stay in touch before making the critical change just past the midway mark. Good to go. There you go. The nation's premier driver then set about reeling the leader in, which he did on lap 36. This is Wincup, who is right now on the hammer of James Moffat. And Moffat then thought he was seeing double soon after when Craig Lowndes crept past him. That allowed Team Vodafone to come home in trouble-free tandem. And Wincup edges closer and closer to a fourth title. Winterbottom remained hot on the heels of the Holden duo, but the big question was whether his team's fuel strategy would be too aggressive for his own good. Oh, is that over yet? Done with yet? I reckon Holdsworth got him. Oh, he's out of fuel and Holdsworth did get him. He did. While Frosty fell back to fourth, it was all smiles in the victorious garage, where Winkup now finds himself on the precipice of back-to-back -back driver's crowns with three races remaining in season 2012. Hey, tough race um, strategy-wise. You know, every, everyone was going everywhere at the start. And, um, halfway through the race, I just asked Dado to give me a bit of an update on what was going on because I had no idea. I was just uh, head down, pushing hard. But uh, when it all uh, worked itself out, we were, uh, were in the top position and was able to bring it home. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.